is something that we might be able to work into one of our Sunday services sometime? Let me try. I think we can figure that out. That so sounds that great. Oh, song. hi. Hey, I, I heard you and I thought, oh, I haven't. The choir would sing that sometimes at the end of church. It was kind of like a choral benediction. Hmm. And um, what's a benediction? Well, a benediction is kind of like a like a blessing that um, the pastor would give or the choir would sing at the end of the service, just to um, like to send everyone out from church and. Um, you know, with the blessing of God as they go on their way. Um, we have a Bible story that also talks about a blessing, but the one that we're that you're playing right there comes from um, the Old Testament. The words do from the book of um, Numbers, number six, verses twenty-four through twenty-seven. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you. And give you peace. So, Pastor Rich, you know that mm -hmm. story about um, the blessing to do with Jacob and Esau, correct? When Isaac was on his deathbed and there was another little bit of trickery that went on? I do. There's always more trickery with that family. Oh my. Yeah. Um, that is a family of tricksters. That family of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so that's that's the story where uh, actually Rebecca, uh, Jacob and Esau's mother, have a role to play in that story too. Unfortunately, yes. So, all right. So there's this special blessing that the father gave to his oldest son. Birthright. Birthright. That's right. <laughs> and uh, and so it was expected that Esau, being the oldest, was to get this blessing, to receive this blessing. And Abraham, Isaac, right? Because Isaac is Abraham's son, and then uh, Jacob and Esau are Isaac's sons, right? So Isaac is on his deathbed, and then knowing that that uh, Isaac had intended to bless Esau, Rebecca uh, pulled Jacob aside and said, "Hey, Jacob." We're going to trick your dad into giving you that special blessing. So, she put um, Esau's clothing on Jacob. So and he puts smelled him, like him. He's, right, so he smelled like him. And, uh, and, and she also uh, took some, some goat skin and put it around his face and on his hands. Uh, so that way he felt like him. Because Jacob was very hairy. Well, Esau, Esau, was, very Esau hairy. was very hairy. Yeah, yes. kind of like Bigfoot. No. <laughs> um, but uh, Esau was very hairy, and uh, and then Jacob wasn't. Jacob had smooth skin, so the goat skin made his hands hairy. And there was a special meal uh, of of wild game that uh, that Isaac loved. And and Esau uh, turns out that Esau could cook too. Uh, and so uh, Isaac wanted um, before giving this blessing for Esau to bring him that that special meal of wild game. Well, uh, Rebecca knew this was was expected and so so Rebecca made this this meal and, and so it would taste like wild game and had had Jacob approach his father Isaac uh, with Esau's clothing with goat fur on his on his body on his hands and and bringing this uh, Isaac's favorite dish of food and the only thing that differentiated Isaac from Jacob at this point was their voices right uh, but uh, they effectively tricked Isaac, and so Jacob is the one who got the blessing. And Esau was very sad that he didn't. And he asked his father, can't you bless me? But it was already done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Zach, for playing that. And we'll look forward to hearing in church, and we'll remember the blessing.
for? 